So the siding is finished. Next job will be to fix the fascia and eaves type boards and then we're going to put flashing on them. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll have to go around to all four sides of both sheds, look for stuff like this where the soffit doesn't really match up and I'll fix or replace whatever boards I need to replace or fix. Um, this here is a broken looking board, rotten board, but again, uh, that's a roof board and I'm going to wait till I get onto the roof to fix that. So I'm really looking at only the spacing board here that you see. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take leftover pieces of siding that we used on a shed and we're going to flatten it and put it on here. So we're basically going to cover all this and we're going to be covering this kind of area and then tucking it in behind here a little bit and we'll do it right up to the bottom of the, the roof underneath here. So this will be all covered in metal. So let's sit back and I'll quickly show you how to get your siding ready to put up there. So to make the flashing, we take a piece of our siding that we have left over and what we're going to do is we'll lay this down on a flat surface, we'll step on it, which will get it fairly flat, and then we'll take a hammer and we'll hammer it here, we'll bend it over, hammer it there too, so when we're done hammering it, and it doesn't take too much, you'll get a piece of flat flashing like this that matches your, your shed. So to figure out what size we need to do our fascia and eaves, all we have to do is, let's say here's the roof, Let's say the fascia board is four inches tall. So what we want is a four inch piece plus one extra inch. So we want five inches total. Uh, so basically four goes here and one will go underneath. So that'll be a 90 degree angle right here. And that way it'll protect the front of the board and a bit of the bottom. So when water comes off the roof or if it hits the side, it'll just keep on coming down. So we'll cut. If this is four inches, we cut a piece five. If this is four and a half inches, we cut a piece five and a half inches. So we add an inch, so that's the extra inch that goes underneath the board, and that'll cut, cover the edge of the board. Uh, so to do that, all we have to do is we'll take our tape measure, let's say for five inches, measure five, measure five, measure five, cut it to length, and then that'll give us the width and length. Then we take our pliers, and we'll mark a spot at one inch and then we'll bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it and when we're done we'll have a four inches and one inch bend, it's a 90 degree angle, degree angle and then that's what we put on the fascia slash eaves. So it's actually quite simple, once I have the first piece ready and uh, cut out I will show you going up, uh, I'll show you when I put it on. Thank you. So I got my first piece cut out from here to there it's four and a quarter and I would make five and a quarter if I do an extra inch. So I take my piece of metal, I cut it, this piece here happens to be 51 inches long, I cut it five and a quarter inches wide, I marked it in one full inch, which is here, ran my line, and then I took my pliers, I bent it back, and then I used my hammer to straighten it out a little bit. And so what I'm basically going to do now is that I'll put this up onto the eaves or fascia, whatever it's called. It'll slide right underneath the shingles, right up against the board that's underneath it here. And then I will tack nails here and down here and so on, maybe every foot, something like that. And then I'll just overlap it when I get down to the bottom and then wrap it around the corner and keep on going that way and so on. So that's all I'm going to do. It's going to be a, quite a few of these boards before I'm done. But basically it just goes on, pushes up underneath the shingles and when I do the metal roofing it'll actually come out probably three quarters of an inch or so past this so that'll be great. So that's all there is and that protects the edge and it protects the, the front of the board. So okay anyway I'm going to continue on and I might bring it back in a bit. So I've got the first two pieces on my small shed and I'm just going to climb up the ladder and I'll show you how I'm trying to get this where it looks half decent. Uh, there, so then I'm trying to line up this groove that's in my siding. 
and then it'll come down the other side so it'll actually look very good hopefully. I'm using some white nails there for the underneath they're uh, root and galvanized uh, nails and then I'll just keep on going down and that groove here is actually in between my ridges. So basically I'm taking from this spot measuring over five inches to here and that's where I cut that for five and a quarter. That's what this is and then I measure in another inch from where I cut it for it's one inch and I bend it and that's that bend right here. So that should be uh, vertical straight up and down. This is permanent marker but it's fine and in time roofing comes up off this. So there we go. So hope you're enjoying it. So I've now finished the front of the big shed and the little shed. I've tried to keep, or keep the, the, the pattern, the same going all the way up. This one here, the soffit, is sort of boxed in. So I put the metal here and on the sides and overlap to the course. I'm going to start working on the sides. And there's the other side where I finished. The little shed doesn't have it all built in like that, so I just did the metal down to here. I'll put the next piece in underneath there and continue down the side. So that is both sheds done on the front. So I think it turned out pretty good. So let's continue on. So the ease, the fascia is all finished. Probably took me. Oh, about a week off and on to get it all done. This is the big shed. I did in behind the boxed in area, behind this, or next to the soffit area. Um, obviously, I did I, this side. This is the small shed. I've done in between them, of course, on both sides. I did the back. And, of course, I did this side, too. So, it's all finished. Everything looks good. So that's all there is Thanks to this video. Watching this video. Don't forget to share, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and thank you again. And as a little bonus, here's the scraps that I have left over. I think the biggest piece is probably about a foot long, so there's not much. Uh, this will, of course, get all get recycled. Thank you again.